Hello, and thank you for joining me today for Real Estate, Religion, and You. My name is Sylvia Black, licensed real estate broker and owner of Affordable Homes and Apartments in Williamsville. And also, I'm licensed to preach and ordained as a minister. And I have my master's degree in sacred theological divinity. And I want to thank you for joining me today for Real Estate, Religion, and You. Where you can visit my YouTube address at sblack3001 at gmail.com. And also hit me up on Facebook, Dr. Sylvia Black. Email me at sblack3001 at gmail.com. And for more information on real estate information and books, go to affordablehomesandapartments.com. And I thank you for joining me today again. Today we are in Lockport, New York. And I would like to show you a house that we are fixing and renovating for someone to buy and or rent. And there it is right there it's at 45 South Street in Lockport New York we are in Lockport New York just to show you the area view these are some brand new houses that were built in the neighborhood that house I'm gonna zoom in on that house across the street there's another one over there these are multi-family houses uh, there's no there's a waiting list now they, they were rented out before they were built okay as you can see there's a church across the street businesses on the other side of the block parking will be over there uh, if you want to park overnight on the other side of the street uh, two-hour parking on the sidewalk or driveway parking for one car as you can see there's four garbage cans here because it used to be a four unit and the inspectors had commanded that we convert it down to a single family and so that's what we did first I'm going to take you to the backyard so we can take a look at the backyard and see it's a little muddy and nasty back here okay here's the gas meter as you can see the gas meter is in place okay so gas is ready to get turned on we have chicken wire what they call so eloquently on the window and that's cheaper than window guards window guards will cost about thirty dollars or forty dollars for each cover each window we got two rolls of uh, chicken wire for like $35, $40. Now here's the backyard. As you can see, it's partially fenced in right there. And there's another fence right there to be completely fenced in. It's very huge. It needs to be cleaned out a little, not much. Fenced in for privacy. Okay, here's the back of the house. There's the kitchen door. And this is the where they come in to install the oil because it's an oil tank downstairs okay this is the back door this is the back the bedroom downstairs that has a private bath this is the back of that and this is upstairs that's the second floor that's another bedroom outside that's the master bedroom windows and that's the attic window one of the attic windows the other ones on the other side and as you can see the house just needs some scraping and some painting and we just sweep and sweep this backyard and cultivate it and it'll be nice and ready for the for the summertime okay it's available for sale right now and or for rent with waiting list because it's not ready to rent so we have to we're taking applications if you want to rent for more information on the rent and or the selling of it go to my website at affordablehomesandapartments.com there's the other window on the other side of the attic right there there's the other window and that's the second floor and again this is the first floor here so now we're going to take you back around around there's the gas meter okay that's in place and I'll show you the electric meter that's in place let you know that all the violations have been corrected it's sort of muddy out here Okay, here's the electric meter. I'm going to zoom in on it. Uh, right there is the electric meter is in place. Okay, here's my fencing or the T's panel that I put on here for privacy. And as you can see, there are two doors that lead into the house. Okay, this is the main entrance where uh, the big door. So if you got furniture, this is where you come in at. And this is the other door. And as you can see, there's four bells because it used to be a four unit, okay? And we took those other mailboxes and only we put one mailbox. This is the porch, okay? 
we gotta scrape the we gotta scrape the ceiling and paint it with some exterior paint. We're gonna put some indoor outdoor carpet on the floor. And it'll cascade down the steps. Put some grass seeds to cultivate the grass. Probably perhaps play we put a fence around it. Okay, here's again. These are the windows. We have chicken wire, which is cheaper than window guards, but it serves the same purpose. This way your kids and your animals, they won't fall out the window. And nobody can just come into the window uh, without uh, you allowing them. Now let me get the key so I can open up the door. Open up the door. i get him so. Okay, it's available for sale and or for rent, whichever's first. Well, we're going to continue to work on the house and fix it up until we either get a buyer or a tenant. Okay, so now we're going into the house. Okay, let me make sure. Okay, this is the outside again. Okay, here's the inside. Here's the living room. Well, it's actually a, a room. I don't. I guess you so call it a utility room or like a playroom because there's a living room is on the other side. But this is a living room, a room, you know. Now originally there was linoleum here. We had that scraped up. We put this down. But more than likely we're going to take this up. We're going to shock the house, sand the floors down, and then we're going to get it looking really nice. Okay, now here we are inside of the house in Lockport. Hi, Lockport. How y'all doing out there? Ooh, hey, Lockport. Lockport, New York. Lockport is only about 30, 45 minutes from Buffalo. Okay, I don't know how long it takes to get from Niagara Falls because I've never, but it is in Niagara County. So it's another county for all of you who don't know anything about Lockport. Uh, no buses run out here on Saturday and Sunday. Okay. So if you consider moving out here, you have to have a car or somebody in the family got to have a car or don't plan on coming out and going nowhere on the weekends because <laughs> not no bus will take you nowhere, honey. And I found that out. But, you know. Okay, now here we are inside the house. Okay, and here's the... Uh, <coughs> we had this up because we had, we're putting up a uh, plasterboard. Okay, now we have to just uh, put some joint compound on it, harden it up. Make it look like the rest of the walls. <laughs> okay, we're going to take you through. Oh, I said that we have radiators. Okay, steam heat. It's an oil furnace. Okay, but it shoots out water. It heats up the steam and the water and the oil. And it shoots through the furnace. This is the laundry room. <laughs> now, in order to be able to use this as a bedroom, this wall here would have to be knocked out. That leads from the dining room. And I'll show you that. Now this has a nice closet for storage of your laundry room facilities. Okay, if you want to store some stuff in there. Okay, a nice closet. Cabinet space still. Beautiful light fixture. Have still closets all around. So this used to be a kitchen, by the way. Yep, this was a kitchen. And what we did was we took the uh, the stove out. The stove out was here. The stove was here. We took that out, uh, we put a sink here, so that now there's a sink, a laundry sink. Okay, where is it? <clears throat> okay, we have a laundry sink there. And so now what we have to do is put the 220 plug and, or, and an exhaust. We've got to put a hole in the wall so for an exhaust, for the dryer. Gas line go right down in there. So if you have a gas dryer, okay. Again, radiated heat, honey. This is the kind of heat that open up your nostrils. This is the best kind of heat, I say. Okay. Okay. Now here's a bedroom with a private bath. It's the only bedroom on the first floor. So if there's somebody in the family that can't climb steps for one reason or another, this will be a great bedroom for them okay now we have carpet down on the floor but we're going to take that carpet up okay we're going to take the carpet up and we're going to just keep leave the floors like they are we're going to sand them up beautify them underneath and leave it just like it is 
Okay, we're not gonna, you know, do anything fancy or schmancy. Now this house here, I bought it for less than two thousand dollars. And as a real estate broker, I do not divulge my secrets. But if you want to know where I got it from, you can join my real estate club. Okay, and for more information on that, you can go to affordablehomesandapartments.com. Now, as I said to you, we're going to be bringing you a whole lot of, we're going to show you what it looks like now. This is actually sort of like the, um, in the middle after, because I have pictures what I will be showing you what it looked like before we started any work at all. But this is, can be considered as the before. Okay, so when we finish the house, or when it's sold and the new owners fix it, we'll be showing you what it looks like. Okay, now this house is assessed at $56,000, around $50,000. Okay, the taxes are a whopping $3,000 a year. Okay, now, now, don't know, I'm not an appraiser, but my estimate is that the house is appraised at, I would say, $37,900. Somewhere like that. $56,000, hey, look, but if you're going to appraise my house at $56,000, who am I to say that it's not worth $56,000? I'm flattered. Okay, I paid less than two grand for this house. And then you're going to tell me that I can get a loan for $56,000 or I can sell it for 56 That's, oh, please. I'll be just thinking about how much money that is. Woo I get chills up and down my spine. <laughs> okay, now, here we go with the radiators. Here's the bathroom. Also has a radiator in it. The toilet. The sink and the tub. All ready. Everything's finalized. We just got to do a little bit of... Just a little bit of work, as we've seen. And then the floors are the main thing we gotta do, and it's mostly labor intensive. Because we're just gonna take uh, the they take this up and buff what's underneath it to preserve the wooden floors. Now this we're not gonna take up. We're just gonna buff it, clean it up, and we're gonna leave it just like it is. Okay, this is the hallway, that's the door that leads to the basement, and that's the steps going upstairs. But before we show you upstairs, I want to show you over here. This is the dining room. Uh, I mean the living room. Okay, it has its own radiator. Okay, this is uh, the stuff that has... To, okay, this is the window. Now look at this beautiful floor. This beautiful floor. It needs just to be shined up and cleaned a little bit. Okay. And uh, we got to fix this. Okay. These are... Uh, there's actually four. Because again, it used to be a... It used to be a four unit. Okay, so each side has one of these. <clears throat> I don't know if I showed you the one on the other side or not, but we might have to replace these with, with one that you can control with temperature. See, this has an on and off switch. This has an on and off switch right now. Okay, and let's see if we can see that. Yeah, see the switch right there? It's an on and off switch. Okay, and for, you know, it has to be in place because the temperature is set downstairs in the basement for the furnace which I don't know if we're going to get down there to see but the temperature is set so 68 degrees so that when the tennis turn is on but before when it was a four unit you just turn it on and the most you can get out of it is 68 degrees if you want it more than that and unfortunately there's only one there was always only one uh, electric meter and only one gas meter so there were four tenants here and the owner still had to pay for gas and electricity Okay, so if, you, if it was cold, if that wasn't enough heat for you, you know, then you would have to, you probably plug in a heater and then unfortunately the landlord would have to pay the bill. See, that's why I just went on and converted it to a single family because it always had one, one, uh, it had one electric meter and one gas meter. And I'm like, why not just make it into a single family? So then whoever, even if I rent it out, the tenants will pay the gas and electric and the water. You see, because if I rent it out as a two unit, which I could have converted it to a two, it just seemed like it would have costed more money to do that. So I just said, I'll just strip it down. It's easier to just tear stuff down than to build it up. You know, and I wanted to use every inch of the house as possible rental. I didn't want to have to gut nothing out. So but we did gut out the kitchen stove, but we can still use those rooms. Okay, and that laundry room that I just showed you, that was a kitchen. Okay, so now let's, <clears throat> excuse me, let's go on in here. This is the dining room. Okay. And we're going to put a ceiling fan, possibly, and a drop ceiling here. Okay, there was a leak that was coming from upstairs from the bathroom, which had to be fixed. And what the plumber did, uh, he ran some pipes from, you know, the plastic pipes 
that go down into the basement. As you can see, see, they run all the way from there, go down, all the way down into the basement, attached to the hot water tank. Okay? And this linoleum is coming up, it's not put down properly. We just put it down because we just finished taking up the, 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 the wet linoleum underneath because as I told you, there was a leak uh, coming from the ceiling. So what we did was we replaced the, uh, we put, you know, just took off the, up the linoleum and now we're ready to buff the floors. So we just put this over the floor so it'll just look a little prettier, you know, when we show it. If we, you know, if we show it. And, um, you know, we just didn't want to look at it looking all nasty. You can see there's a little bit of what the floor looks like. Uh, it's ready, though. This is our pantry room for more food storage. We're going to put some shelves up here. Okay, this was a closet at one time, as you can see. Okay, but we're going to put shelves up there so you can f uh, store more food in here. And here's the window. This overlooks this. You can see the backyard from here. Okay, there's that gutter that we just looked at. Okay, and yeah, this has a nice glass door to it. I like this door. You know, the door is really nice. It has, has a lot of attraction to the house. So you can actually close this door off when you're sitting in the dining room eating. Okay, and here's the official kitchen. We left one kitchen. These are my tools and stuff that I'm leaving here that's going to come out once we finish, once we rent the house. Got all my tools here that I leave here so that we can have... You know, a rake and a shovel, summer, winter, and snow. We got a lawnmower. Okay, here's a stove that was included in the apartment, if whether you buy it or rent it. And here's the sink. Okay, we had a new uh, one of these put on, and we had the pipes put in. We had the brand, brand new pipes. We had that done properly. So all the piping and everything is done. We winterized it so that um, there's, we manually winterized it. We didn't get a company to do it. And how we winterized it was what we do is uh, we took, we turn, we open up.